We're Claire and Catherine and we're here today with Sarah from The Sugar Hit and we are talking to her over cookies and tea about her business and the challenges she faces and the things that she loves about working for herself. So what is your name and what do you do? My name is Sarah Coates and I am the owner and creator of The Sugar Hit which is a blog, it's also a cookbook and I'm also a freelance writer, food stylist, recipe developer, and photographer. So I have a very long job title. <laughs> it's a mouthful. <laughs> and you also are a merchandise developer, right. which is pretty cool. T-shirt designer, <laughs> add that to the list. <laughs> very cool. Uh, so that's a lot. What is the best and the worst thing about working for yourself? Well, the best thing about it is working for myself. I'm, I love the freedom and the autonomy that comes with owning your own business. I like to be able to make my own decisions and I like to be able to pursue the things that I think are going to be successful and that excite me. Um, but the worst part of it is the same thing. It's not having a massive team. It's not having anyone to report to, to hold you accountable, not having anyone to bounce ideas off. It is a one woman show at the sugar hit and <laughs> everything comes down to me. So if I want to make anything happen, I've got to be motivated and sometimes that can be a bit much. <laughs> that's when tea and cookies and meetings are a welcome reprieve. It's kind of the best. <laughs> yeah, it's the best. <laughs> so how do you define success at the Sugar Hit? For me, success at the Sugar Hit has always been being a viable business. And I know that that sounds like a very modest form of success, but I started with absolutely no experience. I started with not very much startup capital. I mm -hmm. sort of quit my job with a very small website um, and I was kind of just lucky to be naive enough that I yeah. didn't really know how <laughs> bad things were. I thought my website's going great, I'm going to go do this, it's going to be fantastic. Mm. Um, so for me success has always just been being able to do this full time and being able to rely on myself for my income. Mm -hmm. um, but now as I'm growing a little bit and I've got my book out, The Sugar Hit, in stores now, <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm kind of looking towards the future and seeing if I can maybe employ some other people mm -hmm. um, and sort of make the sugar hit team a little bit bigger and spread the love. Mm -hmm. And then that definition of success will continue to grow. Yeah, exactly. It's mm -hmm. exciting. What is one thing that you wish was more openly discussed among creative entrepreneurs? Well, we were talking about this earlier. It's a tough question yeah. <laughs> um, because on the one hand, I wish people would discuss everything mm -hmm. more. Um, I feel like in creative entrepreneurship there has traditionally always been this really closed doors um, in-house secret keeping sort of mm. structure um, but I think the cool thing is is that with the way the business is going lots of people are becoming solo entrepreneurs or going out on their own and we want a team you want to be part of a team but you can't employ a team mm. so you get people who are much more willing to communicate and collaborate mm like you guys which is awesome <laughs> um, and just share what you're doing share the like you said share the apps that you use and share the techniques that you use to run your business on a day-to-day -day basis mm. so everything is my answer please discuss everything more. <laughs> everything <laughs> no one wants to reinvent the wheel no, no, no one yeah. has time for that exactly mm. like I'm so certain that every person out there is doing something better than what I'm doing, you know? <laughs> yeah. They're doing it in a smarter way, in a better, more efficient way, and I want to know what that is so that I can mm. be better too. Mm. Yeah. What do you think is the best advice that you've ever received? Best advice I've ever received, mm. most inspiring thing I've ever seen, was I watched a short motivational speech by Arnold Schwarzenegger. Wow. <laughs> it was amazing. And I am not an Arnie fan, like <laughs> other than, of course, everyone's an Arnold Schwarzenegger fan on yeah, some level. Secret. but. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I watched a motivational speech and he gave six rules, six things which he thinks that you need to do to be successful. Mm -hmm. I can't remember all six of them. They didn't all stay with me. But the first two, the first one he said was trust yourself. Mm. And I think that that's great advice. And the second one he said, which also stayed with me, was break some rules. Mm -hmm. Nobody ever gets successful by just following all the rules. If you follow all the rules, you'll just end up in the middle somewhere. Mm -hmm. So I think, and I always look to people like David Bowie and Lady Gaga and these people that are just way out there. Mm -hmm. Break the rules, man. Why not? <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> Great. 
Awesome. Beyond Arnold Schwarzenegger, yes. Norway, Lady Gaga, who mm-hmm. are your professional heroes, or who's a professional hero? My professional hero is Jamie Oliver. Ah. Yes. I really, really admire the way that he does business. Um, he's got such an empire. Mm. Um, it's really impressive, particularly for somebody who was dyslexic, didn't do that well in school, um, went into kitchens because that's what his family did and that's what he's always done. Um, and then just got discovered by chance, mm. got a TV show. Um, and I think a lot of people would do that TV show and then maybe fade out mm. or just continue with, I'm gonna be a cook or a food writer. But he'd really took it and ran with it and turned it into a full on business empire. Mm. Like he's got restaurants, books, his YouTube channel, TV shows, he runs a production company. He runs a secondary production company. Mm. He does documentaries. And on top of all of that, he really gives back to the community yeah. as well. And he's um, trying to make a difference. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Which is just so impressive and something that I really aspire to do in my career. I would love to have a Jamie Oliver sized empire. <laughs> I know that's <laughs> maybe not entirely possible, but Why it's not? definitely inspiring and he's someone I really look up to. Mm. I like when people think big like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and you've been lucky enough to work with him as well. I have, I've done some work for his website. Mm-hmm. I didn't get to work with him directly, <laughs> but maybe one day. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and he once gave me a shout out on Instagram. Which is awesome. Yeah, made my life. It's kind of it's amazing, yeah. <laughs> and most importantly of all, what is your favorite cookie flavor? Favorite cookie flavor, found in the Sugar Hit Cookbook, uh, chocolate chip pretzel cookies, amazing. They're my favorite, salty, sweet, chewy in the middle, crispy at the edges. Can't be beat. They're my favorite. Amazing. Perfect. Thanks so much for talking to us today, Sarah. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. It's been awesome. Thanks. Anytime you want me back, I'm here. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs>